Hello, welcome to the day when I'm shit at Isaac and pressing random and probably going to roll something like the lost... or... the keeper. <laughs> I was joking, you dick. Oh well, here we go. Curse of the maze, keeper run. No opportunity to re-roll anything, but at least we get into the shops for free, so if we manage to pick up coins rather than... Um... Rather than the opposite. Why don't we do this? That makes sense. Then we might be able to get some value out of shops. Uh, at least we got a bomb back for that, but we didn't get... Wow, what was I expecting? Tinted, uh, uh, small rock again. What value could we get out of a small... Uh, a tinted rock except for small rock? Although small rock is quite valuable, so it does make it worth doing at this stage of the game. At least we got our just rewards for trying. Kill it before it makes one of those stupid fucking flies. No doubt we will face a lot of troll bombs and the burning, no, the flooded caves, so I have no chance at this run, but we'll do our best. You know, we've had a couple of capitulations and a very, very train wreck run. Okay. Uh, I think we opened this. Could have uh, abomination. It could have, like, Cricket's head or something in it, so that would have been super valuable. It didn't, but it could have. And now we can get to the shop, which will cost us nothing, and we might be able to buy something from the first floor, which would be sweet. And I think I will actually buy the nightlight. Um, could really help us out. Just, it's a defensive item that doesn't necessarily always help you out, but it really, really could. Although Little Horn just blew himself up like he usually does, that would make my life so much easier. Uh, it's the sort of item that you don't use on purpose, but it's probably worth the 15 cents to get early because it could, over the course of the run, save you a lot of hits that were going to be faster now than now. Don't think it seems to be slowing down those troll bombs, though, so don't count on that. Please stop disappearing to the other side of the screen where I can't hit you without walking all the way. Oh my god. Can't seem to hit it with any of my tears, let alone all three. Do the thing where you put bombs down and then teleport next to them. The look upgrade is fine too, but we don't get the spirit hearts from it because we are the keeper. Three flies are no doubt going to explode something in my face on the future floor. That seems to be the main reason to have flies as the keeper is to blow up a bomb fly when it gets close to you. Close to you. Another uh, burning basement. That would be difficult. Hoping that if I watched that slowly uh, happen slowly enough, then it would turn into a crawl space or something that I didn't have. We should use this. Uh, it's a bit of a misplay not to use that on every room, because it is a one room charge. And it could again be the difference between life and not life as the keeper. So any room where you don't get a payout from the wooden nickel is the room where you have to not get hit twice. The other difficult thing about playing as a keeper is that we are here for a reason, and that reason is in the reward rooms that you get at the end of a boss fight, and we are not going to get to those as the keeper any... like We're less likely to get to them as the keeper than we are as any other character, because the keeper can't take those uh, defensive hearts, known as spirit hearts, except Norkin the Lost, except the Lost doesn't actually have any opportunity to get hit at all, which means the Lost is guaranteed to get every single one of them, uh, and the Keeper is not. So I think I'm going to just backtrack here, see if there's anything down this branch, because there's a penny over here and I don't want to you know, wander too far. There's nothing there very well. Something here? Uh, you can, yeah, you can have that. It only seems fair that he has that. We don't take pills as the keeper, because if it's a health down, you are in dire trouble indeed. Is Robo Baby 2.0 any good? Jen's in the kitchen to ask the question. She has no idea. It's not even fair that I ask. Jen's not listening because she doesn't care. Uh, yes, we go into the shop because it's free. I would like... Would I like BFF? Yeah, I think I do. Maybe I should have made that... Yeah, that was a bad play. Although, if that doesn't pay out, then I guess it doesn't matter. In that case, we buy this 
Ooh, a Joker card. That's going to be super helpful, because if we can get a deal with the devil on this floor by not being hit by the boss, then we are guaranteed a deal on the next floor, which we have as good a chance of it being an angel as any other deal. Has. Please kill these dips before they do me some sort of mischief. So this is the sort of situation where having the nightlight is great, because these things basically can't hit you if they're uh, slowed by the nightlight. Some pennies, which is a luck upgrade, which is nice. Pretty nice. Don't know how to do Robo Baby Super I think it just fires whenever the heck it wants to. I mean, I can pilot it around the room, but I don't see the point. Jen's asking me if I want food, as if Jen doesn't know. One or two food? No, it's one food today. It's a one food day. Don't get hit. And you'll get a deal with the devil. No deal with the devil. No, you got to take your dickhead. Or pick up the point. Hit again. Look, we're not guaranteed to not get a deal with the devil. Not all luck. Very, very unlikely. And the world takes us to take this thing. This is another hit. So we can take another hit. And this room turned out to be pretty good. Mostly because there was a super fast enemy charging us down. As soon as we got here, we had no idea what to do. We did get a deal with the devil. And we can take that pill to the halo. Actually, Dark Bum, which is something I don't want anyway, uh, as the keeper. So, go us. Accidental good play. It's the best good play. And a bomb. Thank you. So we take the halo because it's an all-stats upgrade, but otherwise it's not that good. Two keys. Uh, yeah, let's just leave. That floor had no right to give us a deal with the devil and it is so now we use the joker card and we get a deal with the angel we get fucking crowd of fucking light bring it on thousand one percent i'm a nerd you're not right we have done what we came to do <laughs> this is unbelievable i nearly didn't bother with this run at all because i have played three runs today and capitulated all three that was the daily run two isaac runs on the same episode both of which went horribly wrong and on a un very unlikely keeper run we have found Crown of Light in a very unlikely situation. We want to make sure this is not pointed at those. Because that makes it very difficult to dodge. There we go. Right, I'm super happy. Uh, there is no way you can... Ain't never going to bring me down now, basically. I could go and walk on hot coals and say, that was the last, let's do it again. We should meet again sometime. Crown of Light on my head. Our DPS is outstanding right now. Sure, let's take this thing. I haven't even been using the thing that keeps me alive. Which is silly. Of course. Uh, I don't want anything in there. I've suddenly become so confident in this run just as a result of the Halo and Crown of Light. And the fact that the Crown of Light is the very last thing I needed to do in this entire freaking game before. Um, I probably shouldn't have used that. Before, before uh, After Plus comes out. But you all can go home. It's time to start streaking. No. She's not listening. If she was listening, that would have elicited a response. Said it's time to start speaking. She doesn't like speaking. She doesn't watch football. Yeah, speaking, but naked. No. Uh, we can do Isaac streaks now because we actually have to worry about whether we win or not. Because every item is available to us. So the only thing now to do is to show how good we are, which we have not been doing because we've pitched late two Isaac runs in a row and there's really, really no reason. You can pitch light on an Isaac run. Uh, the stain, however, just killed itself by spawning on the red thing. So, thank you for that. I will take a range upgrade, and I will leave. This is great! I'm a fan of this! We found Crown of Light through the most unlikely of situations, considering all the ways that we could have found Crown of Light. And we didn't get our angel room naturally on that floor either, which also makes me pretty happy, because it means that I didn't sort of miss the joke part. In fact, the most unlikely situation was the one where we got a deal with the devil, even though we took a hit on the monster if I saw it. Stand the hell still. I wanted to take that whole whole nickel there if possible, and that was possible, so... Thank you to everybody who has shown support. Do it for me getting that nickel, not for the series. Screw you all. I think uh, multi-dimensional baby could be very helpful here if we can actually make it be in the right place at the right time. It's doubling every shot that we made. Jen's giving me food, but I don't know what it is. It's some pineapples. Not some whole pineapples. Some slices thereof. Thank you, Jen. She's keeping me alive while I 
I don't need food right now. I'm sustained by the sheer pleasure of having found the item I was looking for. I'm going to do that even though it's a bad idea. Uh, no, I think we can survive another room. That one was a bit of an awkward room. But I shouldn't really be picking these things up. That's the problem. Won't you join me in my pineapple nomming? Ooh, very tender. Ow. Oh. Ah! It's also acidic when I have an ulcer. Ah, oh, I'm dying. Okay, so I can't talk for the rest of the episode, but honestly, there's nothing left to say. What can you say to a run like this? The most unlikely situation has given us the greatest of luck, just in time for my own personal deadline, which was Afterbird Plus coming out. No, it's just in time. There is some leeway here. But... I kind of want to go into the boss trap room just to take the piss. At this point, I don't care if I die as a keeper, but we're doing a little bit better as this particular keeper right now as we were doing as Isaac. <laughs> because that's how the world works, is that you find the hardest character in the game and do better than you did with the easiest character in the game. Like, immediately afterwards. It's not like I've had a sleep and recuperated. Nope. I am just that inconsistent. I hear a coin. I will take it. I do like pineapple. Just not... Not ulcer pineapple. Pineapple with... Worcestershire sauce. You know, pineapple with soy sauce. I don't know if that wouldn't work, because they do put pineapple in a lot of Chinese dishes. Soy sauce Chinese? Pineapple, soy sauce, and rice. We heard it here first, though. Probably not first, now I've come to think about it. Probably heard that one before. Ooh, that's nearly hit me. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, don't hit me again. Goodness sake. I'm actually pretty bad at um, these particular enemies, so this could be the end of us. Also, it is completely filling up the room with bullshit, which I still consider to be actual bullshit. You know, right. Let's get a multi-dimensional baby over here, if we possibly can. No, oh, it hit me! You dick! You fucking dick, that was a great run. And then this bloody spider thing. Oh, what a dick. I told you I was bad at that thing, but... The, oh, look. You do sort of expect it to jump a little bit more often and produce baddies a little bit less often, so I didn't really have the DPS necessary to get through that fight, but I thought I did pretty well. You know, it was a pretty well played run, and we did get what we came for. So, from the next run, I'm going to start doing Eden Streaks, because uh, the only reason I haven't been playing Eden so far is that I didn't want to spawn with the Crown of Light, even if that was possible, and sort of ruin the, the, the action there. So thank you for watching this run, which is only a quarter of an hour long, and thank you for watching the previous run, which is like three hours long. Um, and I hope that you will join me between now and Afterbirth Plus for some trying to be good at the game type action. So I'll see you then.